Hey everyone, this is Tony Seuss's Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set up CyberPanel on DigitalOcean, which will be fairly easy. It's a one-click install from their marketplace. We're gonna associate a domain name with it and an SSL certificate, so everything will be encrypted and secure. And then finally, we will install WordPress on it, a fully functioning website. So if that's something you wanna learn how to do, let's go ahead and get right on into the tutorial here. Okay, so I'm logged into my DigitalOcean dashboard here, and what we're gonna do is create a droplet. And when this page loads, we'll go over to the Marketplace tab, and we will search for Cyber Panel. Here we go, Cyber Panel is the next gen hosting control panel. So that's what we're looking for. Um, the recommended minimum system requirements for this is one gigabytes of RAM, 10 gigabytes of SSD storage space. Uh, but just so I have enough, I'm gonna go with the $10 a month plan, which kind of doubles that two gigs RAM and 50 gigabyte SSD. Uh, let's move along here. I'm gonna put mine in San Francisco. You can pick a data center that's closest to you and your visitors. And I do have my SSH key set up, so that's good. I don't have to type in a password. Everything else looks good, so we'll go ahead and create that droplet. Now, while this is being created, we can actually come in here and get the IP address that's gonna be associated with the server. And what I'm gonna do is copy this IP address and over here in Namecheap, where I bought my domain name from, this will be slightly different for you, but the concept will still be the same. I'm going to associate that IP address with my domain name. So we're gonna use my domain name. These are all domain names that I own. Site1.xyz, I'm gonna click on Manage in here and go into the Advanced DNS Settings. And what I'm gonna do is add two A records, okay? One for the, the, the domain name itself, okay? And you can, the, the symbol for that is the at symbol. And just because we're working with site1.xyz, that kind of maps to the at symbol. We'll put the IP address as the value. And then we'll do a second A record for www site1.xyz and it's gonna have that same exact IP address. So that looks good while we're working. Um, hopefully this will propagate over and we will be able to use the I, the domain name to log in. So um, this looks like it's finishing up. Uh, we are good to go. The droplet has been created. And let's see if, if uh, that propagation has happened so far. So what I'm gonna do is open up a terminal window and I'm just gonna go ahead and ping site1.xyz. And if you get back the IP address, then we're good to go and we do. So you can see that matching up with the IP address. And now we can log in via SSH to our server. So we can do SSH root at site1.xyz. And do you trust the connection? Yes, I do. And just a couple seconds later, we are logged into this server and you can see uh, we get some messages from CyberPanel here. CyberPanel's up to date. Enjoy your accelerated CyberPanel server. Okay, great. So the next thing I'm gonna do is to go into a web browser and um, just see what we got for site1.xyz. So we'll go to site1.xyz and uh, just a, a message from uh, my, my internet service provider. We'll bypass that and then go into the actual website and there's nothing here, right? There's nothing being served. We haven't set up a website. We're gonna do that in a second. Um, to access the admin panel, you wanna to go to your domain name, colon 8090, port 8090, and you'll get this message saying that your connection's not private, or yeah, your connection's not private, it's not secure. Um, there's no way to bypass this, but you know, the good old trick in Google Chrome is to simply here on the page type, this is unsafe. And that should allow you to bypass that message. If you're on a different browser, it'll be something different. So um, this is the actual cyber panel admin login screen. And by default, the username is admin, but the password is something that we have to get um, back in the terminal window. So we logged in before in the terminal window and what DigitalOcean does, and um, depending on where you get cyber panel from, could be a little bit different, but the, the password for the admin user is in your root directory. So if you do sudo cat, sudo cat dot lightspeed password, you see that the admin pass is right here. So we'll copy that. Oh, get the whole thing, copy. 
and then we can paste it in the password field and sign in. Okay, so this is the admin dashboard for CyberPanel. So you can do a whole different host of different things, um, but we're gonna focus on setting up a website, a WordPress website in this case. The first step to doing that is to go into, uh, on the main page here, go to websites and create a website. And that this is just like a generic um, setting up the infrastructure for the website. We're gonna create the website first and then put the application on the website. So we're gonna make the website for you know site1.xyz and then put WordPress, the application, inside of this container, think of it. So um, we'll go ahead and select the default package, the owner, there's only one, the admin, domain name site1.xyz. I'll put my email in here, tony at tonyteaches.tech. And then the PHP version, you can pick whatever you need. I'm gonna pick the latest version here. And the only other option I'm gonna pick is SSL, which is gonna give us that SSL certificate and enable HTTPS for our website. So let's go ahead and create the website. This will take you know 10 to 15 seconds to set everything up. And when that's done, we can go ahead and install WordPress. So let's just wait for this to finish up here. It's setting up the SSL certificate now. We'll be able to test that out in just a second. The, the SSL certificate is from Let's Encrypt. It's a free SSL certificate. Um, and I mean, you don't have to pay anything, which is the coolest thing, uh, but every three months it will um, renew. So you'll have to come back in here and uh, get a new SSL certificate for your website so that um, you're always serving your web pages over HTTPS. So if this takes more than just a couple more seconds, I think I'll pause the video and then catch up with you when it finishes. All right, I'm back a couple seconds later. It's done here. Let's go ahead and now go into the website section over here and let's list our websites. Let's see what kind of websites we have. And you should expect that it's just the one website for now. Um, what we want to do is click on this manage link up here in the upper right hand corner and that'll open up a page uh, specifically for this website. So we have site1.xyz, our domain name, and all the way down here at the bottom we have the application installer section. So these are your uh, default applications that you can install here. Uh, we're going to do WordPress with Lightspeed Cache, so let's click on that. And this is where you start to pick the settings for your WordPress website. So I'm gonna call uh, my website, um, just call it Tony's website. Username, I'm gonna pick Tony, password, type that in. My email address. And if you wanna specify a path, you can do that, but I'm gonna leave it blank for now. Uh, go ahead and install WordPress here. Oops, installation data supplied, not allowed in the input. Okay, so I must have typed something wrong. Maybe in my, I don't know if it didn't like Tony website. Let me try the password again. Okay, let's try that again. Yeah, that looks like it's working now. It's always hard to do these videos live because always something always pops up, right? Something something weird goes on, uh, but I don't know if it didn't like the comma or if I typed something in or the apostrophe. Anyway, so that's good. We have that installed. So we should actually be able to go to a new tab here and go to site1.xyz and see our WordPress install. And we do see that, which is great. Um, we can log in to WordPress if we go to slash uh, login and oops, uh, it's slash WordPress dash admin, WP dash admin is the login screen. And then you can type your username and your password and that'll log you into your WordPress um, admin dashboard, which is, if you're not familiar, you can write blog posts, you can create pages, you can change your theme, install plugins to do various things. So that's where all of that happens. I have plenty of other videos on this channel about uh, how to work with WordPress. So if you're not familiar, check those out. Um, but the one thing I do notice here is that we are not automatically being redirected from our HTTP version of our website to HTTPS. So for that, for now, we have to explicitly type HTTPS colon slash slash the name of the website and then you'll see we get the lock icon here um whoops i didn't want to do that 
the lock icon here uh, and we can look at the certificate that is coming from Let's Encrypt. In order to automatically redirect from HTTP to HTTPS, we have to do some rewrite settings inside of CyberPanel. So let's go ahead and do that. If we go back to our uh, CyberPanel admin dashboard, and if we go to, um, I think, yeah, let's go back to the, the tab that we have open with our site um, and, or our website. And if we go down here to configurations and rewrite rules, uh, let's refresh the page. Oh boy. I think it kicked us out. This is, let me type it. This is unsafe. Let me try it again. This is unsafe. Okay, there we go. All right, so um, back down here under configurations, click on rewrite rules. And this is where you can add, you know, basic, uh, uh, like an ht dot ht access file. We're just gonna s simply. I'll have some code here, and it'll be down in the description below. Um, what this code does is takes any any connections over port 80, which is the default HTTP port, and redirects them with a permanent 301 redirect, which you can see here, to the HTTPS version of the website. So if we save those rewrite rules, and we go back uh, when it finishes. Still doing something? Okay, configuration saved. If you go back here to site1.xyz and explicitly type in HTTP, HTTP colon slash slash, like the non-secure version of our website, it should redirect us to HTTPS. So, and it does. So we got that lock, lock icon and we're good to go with that. All right, guys, that's it for this one. I hope you found it valuable. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel, check out some of my other cyber panel videos and WordPress videos over here. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.